There we go. Hi, everybody. It's Carla back. Um, I am going to be using my recycled resin for this big window catcher. Window catcher, it's going to catch a window. Sun catcher. <laughs> I can't see myself anyway without my glasses. So, um, I have taken all of my, not all of it by any stretch of the imagination. All of this right here, I got ready early because there's no way you would have wanted to sit and watch me cut the stuff up um, and then and then push it out and try to figure out what I wanted. And this is kind of what I want right here. Um, I'm going to fill it with clear. It's going to be a window hanging, light catching thingamabob. Okay, I save everything in the resin. I let the cups dry, <laughs> and I pull out these, you know, at the bottom of the cup. These are in the bottom. Uh, sorry, I'm holding it up so high. Um, starting to get a little out of practice. I'm used to doing my videos like every uh, almost one a day, and I've been doing them like every three to four days, just because stuff has been going on and. Um, but see this, even this, I pull these out of the bottom of the cups, even though they look totally, the cup looks totally clean when I am done. But, um, you know, it looks like I've scraped every bit out. But then if I let the cup sit there, this falls down in there. So it's a lot of resin. And I have lots of pieces. Okay, this is, I don't even think I can get the whole thing on camera. Let me squish this side. I can probably do it like this. This is one of the bags that I have that's full of <laughs> pieces of resin. This is one of the shoe boxes that I have that is full of pieces of resin. And um, yeah, like this one, I've got it in a little separate bag because it's got some real color. Oops. It's got some real colorful, cute little pieces in there. And I also keep... This little, this little bag right here, um, puppy clothes pin to my little microphone holder stand so that as I'm getting the pieces, I can just throw them in there. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces to show you how I do it. The easiest way to do this is <clears throat> like if you've got these really thin pieces, like these came out of the, the sides of the cups. Um, these funny, like, little long pieces, they're kind of, like, out of the drips. Now, these you can cut with scissors, but I find just using a little um, pair of pliers easier. They don't snap so far. And I just cut these up into pieces. The middle here is my blue and green compository, depository, suppository. Um, I don't know. Anyway, how y'all doing? I am... Um, very happy to be showing you this because I think that any time we can make art with used materials, it's the way to go. Now these little pieces, they came off the side of the cups too, but this has got like glitter and stuff in it. So this is kind of a pink. So I'm going to just um, I'm gonna use scissors on that one. But um, wear glasses if you do this, y'all. You can do it. Okay, so I'm just going to take, can you see the, the, you can see the pink that I cut up, these little pieces. Let me look in the monitor and see where it looks like it needs more. I think it needs a little bit of love over here. That little piece is actually clear. It can go there. Uh, where else did I see? Like over here, it needs a little bit more, but that's got to get moved. When I put the resin in, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me quite a while to um, dilly bob around with it, and you know, kind of push the pieces and try to. Um, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Pouring the resin. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pour very much at one time. I might just come in and then like pour, like uh, one little line around here and get you know just like do it slow so that it's not trying to pull everything into the middle 
And if it does, it does. And um, I'll just dump glitter all over it. <laughs> Paint it black and dump glitter all over it. Yeah. No. Okay. So I do have glitter that I want to put in here. And I'm not going to cut this one up. This one, I need to get some stronger pliers. Because this one, that's pretty intense. Look, it's still got the stick that was in there from the cup. Made it real easy to pull out, though. When the stick is in the cup and then <laughs> you let the resin like fall back down to the bottom and dry, all you have to do is pull the stick and the whole thing comes out. And I'm still using the cups. I mean, see, I, I clean my cups. The outsides are dirty, but the insides are clean. And it's super easy, really. I mean, it, it's not like if you're a busy person, but I'm not. I, I have things I need to do, but I don't have anything I have have to do most days you know most days I paid my dues I am um, well not voluntarily retired but I had to retire and so oh that is what it is alrighty so basically that's what we're doing um, I kind of have the blues and the greens in the middle. This is just a half dilly bob that I don't even know what that's from. But I thought, well, that's kind of cool. Kind of kind of matches. It's pink and blue. I don't know if you can see that. But it's got some little pink and some blue. And I thought, okay, kind of pulls this together. And I purposely want to leave. Um, I might even take these out. But I took pictures to see what it looked like. And... Uh, it looks pretty without them, but it looks more completed with them. And I was thinking about these things too, but I think these would be mm, questionable because these are real pretty. These things that I did the other day that I put that I put the you know glitters and stuff on them and and uh, stuck them under the UV light. You know, these are kind of cool, but this is make, maybe if I was making, oh, oh, golly darn, that would be great. These would be really cool for a clock, wouldn't they? Be short one, but that's okay. We'll get rid of that uh, number. Oh, what, what hour would we get rid of if we were going to get rid of an hour? What's my least favorite hour of the day? When I used to work, it was two o'clock. Two o'clock in the afternoon, hated it because all of a sudden I was tired. I just wanted to go home. I'd been there six and a half hours already. It's just let me go home. Let me go home. Okie dokie. I'm going to put you guys on pause. And I'm going to mix up my resin. I think I'm going to go off the, the second camera just so that you have all the space to see what I'm doing here for now. There you go. And then you can see more of what I'm doing. Um, I mixed up eight ounces. I don't think I'm going to use it all, but I have a few things that I want to uh, fill in. Like, ooh, what did I just do? Like, I got this little Christmas ornament thing with the uh, um, intense... No, it's not showing up in here. There we go. With the Intense Mica from Let's Resin. So what I'm going to do to this is I want to basically have it be clear. But I want to have a little glitter. Like I want to have a little bit of glitter in there, a little bit of shine. But I want a lot of uh, <clears throat> my negative space to be clear. Like clear space. So that's what I want. I'm just going to see about using some of this. Uh, okay, let's see. A spoon. I don't think I've been putting enough in. So let's try. Uh, yeah, let's not go cuckoo birds here. So, I was supposed to go to... Hollywood and see my daughter Monday night. I couldn't go. 
not only did I wake up Monday morning, go to my car, because uh, it was street sweeping, and they always come by here at 10 o'clock. I got out there at like 9.20, and there was already a ticket on my car, another $58. They switched up their times, and they are consistently here at like between 10 and 10.15, and then now all of a sudden they're like, no, we're going to switch it up and catch these people. Oh, just makes me so mad. It just really does. Let me make sure my camera's um, got the whole... So I know I'm on camera. Anyway, so then I had to go to my allergist. So I got ready to go to the allergist. I got everything ready to go to her house, you know, to be ready to go over to the show. And I get in my car, and my car won't start. And I'm freaking out because I have to go to this doctor's appointment. I've waited six months to see this allergist, which is insane. And um, so I, I, made, I, I finally got it started. It did one of those. Oh, 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 or, <laughs> and then finally it starts. It was terrible. So I drove there. And then I, I let her know what was going on, that I might be having car issues and not able to make it. And um, when I left the doctor's appointment to come home and grab my stuff, my car wouldn't start again. It was doing the same thing. And so I was way too nervous to drive there. And this was such an important uh, event for her, the show so important that I couldn't even imagine her trying to like rehearse and be ready and everything worrying that her mom was on the side of the freeway you know so that was kind of bad not kind of bad it was bad I was really sad so I didn't do a video yesterday or Monday night because I was just sad it kind of like threw me but uh, I did get to see her her uh, show today she sent me the the tape of it and um it was good I mean, it just made me get kind of even sadder but I wasn't there Cause especially because it was her birthday too on top of everything you know it's her birthday I wake up I get a car you know a parking ticket um I had a bottle of cranberry uh I'm I'm thinking right now while I'm talking because I'm, I'm not sure if I want to keep adding more I'm pretty sure I'm going to though uh, I had a bottle of cranberry cherry juice that 100% juice stuff that I had opened up and not put in the refrigerator and um, you know everything I do I eat dinner I work everything but on this table in the bed behind me Somehow, I guess I had kicked the bottle under, or just, just enough under the bed that I didn't know it was there. So I was going through stuff, and I saw that bottle, and I saw, like, a Powerade bottle. Because I drink a lot of, uh, like, sugar-free Gatorade and Powerade for my muscle cramps that I get. Um, <laughs> take it into the kitchen, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to pour this stuff out. The bottle, the minute I... Un did the bottle even just a fraction of a little inch the, the lid on that bottle poof it exploded and it like knocked a piece of my fingernail off <laughs> it hit this the top hit the ceiling and it was so loud um i could hear the people that live across the alley from me like going what was that? What was that? It sounded like somebody had shot a shotgun. People came out and they were checking. Because <laughs> my window's right there by the alley. Scared me so bad. Plus, I couldn't hear anything. For, um, I don't know, it felt like forever, but my ears were ringing. Like you see people in the movie when they're by an explosion. My ears were ringing and it just was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It was so weird. All right, I'm trying to go real slow on this because I don't want it to grab my stuff. Um, if you guys don't want to watch this, that's fine. Just um, speed it up, you know, if you want to. Um, 
and that's fine. I just need to do this slow because I know I'm going to have to do some pushback on this. Oh, and right now I should get these bubbles that I see clinging down here. Yeah, I see some bubbles clinging down here, so I need to get those right now. Um, yeah, because this needs to, this literally does need to be, take it gently, take it gently, because it, see it's moving. Let me get these bubbles first that are caught down in the bottom, and then I'll push stuff back. I love making stuff with these recycled colors. I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought I was going to make one, you know, like with the swirls and then make some fish, like cut out the mosaics of fish. And then when I just started doing it, the next thing I know, it's it's got its own idea going on. And it's like, no, we're going to do, uh, we're going to go with the shape that you chose. And we're going to do circles. It's the first time I've ever used this mold, too. All right, hopefully that uh, will get... This mold is a kind of a pain in the hooch. I'm going to have to, uh, I've got it on the heater right now, but it doesn't completely fit the heater, like the heater is to here and to here, here to here, but the outsides of the heater don't really work, so I'm going to have to be moving it. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now in the middle. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, man. Oh, that's the... I'm like, what's wrong with this? Why is it acting slurp, slurpy, sludgy? Oh my goodness, it's because it's that stuff um, that I put in here. Oh, it just clumped. The ice-melting diamond dust, whatever. <laughs> that stuff is, holy cow, it just clumped. Okay, I guess you gotta stir that. <laughs> oh god, oh really darn, okay. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I guess they let me out by myself. Some days are better than others, I gotta tell you. Ah. I'm just getting a little impatient here myself. I can imagine you guys are like, oh my gosh, what is she gonna show us this thing? It's okay. You guys can. Uh, come and go as you please. Oopsies. No bubbles. No bubbles are probably coming out from me moving stuff. I'm gonna have to sit here for a while. Not too long, because I got the heating pad on. Because I'm gonna have to make more resin too. It was eight ounces. Holy moly, that's a lot. Right, I'm just gonna pour some here in the middle because it's got all the glittery stuff in it. All right, and I'm gonna have to push this back. So I think what I'm gonna do before I mix any more resin is to just literally push this, let this, you know, kind of pull and push as it wants to or needs to. And then in about 20 minutes, I'll mix up some more resin, maybe 30, and top it off because by then it should be, uh, I think if there's enough in here, <laughs> but then it should be ready. You know, not not so anxious to uh, get into the middle. It just wants to be in the middle of everything all the time. It's like a puppy or a kid. Just want to be in the middle of the action. Okay, okay, doggy. Here we go. I'm just gonna do this and see if I can get these little bald areas to fill in. Little baldies. Okay, yep, see I just have to keep kind of pushing that back while it's thickening up. And that's what I'm going to be sitting here doing for a little bit and watching a funny cat video. <laughs> yes, I am. Funny cat videos. This one looks like it should be over here. Yeah, you make me laugh. Animals are so funny. Oh, I want an animal so bad. I'm even thinking of a guinea pig. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I hardly ever am without an animal since, well, even when I wasn't supposed to bring home any animals, I always brought them home. I'd sneak them home. I'd find a cat, you know, like in the ditch or something. Somebody would have dumped in the ditch and I'd sneak it home. And we had a playhouse out in the backyard. And, um, it was nice. My dad, if he did, boy, he, he could build. And he built us this really awesome uh, playhouse with a roof. You could jump off, you know, into a sandbox thing and stuff. And I used to keep my my little friends in there until my mom would catch on. Because she'd, she'd be like, 
why are you going out in the backyard at night? <laughs> you know, I'd be going out there to make sure they were food and water, take sneaking out like two and a half hot dogs. <laughs> and then she would go, okay. Because they're always cute, cute little animals. Cute, cute little animals. Okay. Alrighty. And I have to do something about those ones sticking up too. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh, it just takes me so long to do anything. Ah, all right. I'll be back um, when this is ready to demold. Hi, everybody. Okay, this is uh, cured. Um, I have a couple little things. I, I had some extra resins left over after doing something. It's got a piece of gold on it. And I made another one of the candy, the candy reindeer out of the blue purpley candies and some stars and then little white candies in the ears. I just think these are so cute, especially when you put the stars, because you know how I got this glittery thing was putting these stars in first, like laying them in on the mold. And then, so then you get this real cute glittery, glittery, hot, hot tamale. Okay, here's another thing I had. This is made with the um, Intense Chameleon Powders by Let's Resin. Um, yeah. I think I have a 10% discount in my thing. I have a code, uh, Carla10. It um, wasn't working the other day, though, so I, I sent a message to them, to Let's Resin. Uh, okay, so there we go. Cut all that off. See, that's pretty, isn't that cool? That's so cool. The way the colors are like, what? What color is that, you ask? I don't know. It's a whole bunch of colors. Okay, so that's another one. Oh, it's so nice and warm. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, <laughs> I'm only going to open one of these because if one looks stupid, they're both going to look stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chocolate bear. It looks like a chocolate bear. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? You know what I used for the eyes? <laughs> oh my god, let me see if I hold it here. I mean, um, yeah, I'm not that good with my left hand in the computer, but we'll try. Beep. There you go. Those are um, sequins, <laughs> lime green sequins that I put in for the eyes. I don't know why I wanted to do this. It's like a, a, a chocolate pear. Oh, let's see what his brother looks like. Why do I always think these are boys? <laughs> I always think they're boys. Yep, those are bizarro, aren't they? I'm going to put little black noses on them, but just not right now because these were extra... And I thought, I haven't made those in a long time. I think I made those when I first started my channel, and they were so creepy looking. All right. Oh, I made beads because I want to hang this up. So I made some beads real quick. This is an easy one to demold. This is just, you know, yeah. Because I want to have a few beads on the, on the thing holding it up. And these are kind of ombre, ombre. <laughs> Hombre, I'm a fancy talker. Okay, here we go. That one. Oh, all the colors at the bottom. Oh, you too, huh? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. I guess what I want to do is I just want to have like a few little beads hanging on the string, and hopefully, uh, and you just have to manhandle these beads to get them out. Oh, these are cute. I didn't even know I had this one. I don't know if I've ever used it. Wow, they're not just flat; they're dimensional. Oh, cool. Yeah, you just have to kind of manhandle these out. I'm just like pushing them out. Push them out, push them out. Way out. There you go. Those came out easy. So sometimes when I try to mold some of this stuff, it's nightmarish. But I guess I'm getting tougher with my, you, you will get out. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. You will get out of there. This might need some water. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I never made these before. These are cuter than I can even imagine. Wow. 
Oh, now that's not focused at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. These are the little ones that I've pulled out already. These are the big ones, of course. You can see that better. These are made different than these two. Like these, yeah, it has the color at the bottom. Kind of clear, but then it's got that weird thing where the color shows up with a certain thing. And this has some white glitter in it. That's why they look different. This is not that easy to get these out. But easier than the, these. <laughs> Start getting religious when I try to get those out. Just a real, yeah, there you go. Those are really cute. I did not know they had these molds. I thought everything was square or, uh, uh, and I figured out how to fill them up too. Probably should have showed you guys because that's the one thing that's hard is filling up these little molds. But I'll tell you what I did real quick. And um, if you've got them and you've had trouble like getting them full, what I did was see these little things. These things are in the way. Like when you put the resin, the resin is so viscous it like just wants to go all over the top. So what I did with with one hand, I took that little thing and I pushed it out of the way, and then I I pushed this little this little thingy like out of the way, like that, and it opened up the hole so that I can drip the resin in. And it was so much easier because trying to get resin in, in the, um, these type of molds is difficult. Let's see about you. You guys look like you're going to be a little more difficult. Let's see. Cute color, though. Oh, you're coming out, too. Oh, I did not. Oh, my goodness. I thought these are square. Oh, I'm excited. These are so cute. I didn't know I had these. I did not know. Look at that. Look how cute those are. Oh, I thought these were going to be a nightmare. I was like, maybe I won't even do them on, on here. <sighs> oh, there's, God, those are so cute. Oh, these are perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Hopefully I'm going to be able to show you the uh, result of this hanging. Uh, yeah, this is definitely harder. Yowza. Okay. Oh, those are cute too. These are just cute. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. It's more round bigger than those like see it's bigger like this one is these are smash lifesaver size style and this is basketball style okay see so if i can get these out let me give them all a little uh. yeah, but if you use this mold too often you'd have to replace it they're cute these have like a little bit of a lilac color to them maybe i don't think i put lilac in there maybe it was something else oh it's probably the leftover glitter from these Ooh, look at that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really cute. Wow, they're cute. Oh, this is so cute. That's hard to believe. Wow, look how cute that is. Look at that. Hope it's not too dark, because I turned off the overhead light. Yeah, there's one more in there. Oh. I'm trying to make it make that sound again. Okay. So anyway, here's all the, the little beads that I made. These, see, I thought they were going to all be kind of like this. And these are not my favorite beads at all. Not even a little bit. Because they're just kind of clunky, chunky. I don't know what, what decade they're from. Oh, my God, I must need more water. Look at my hands. They're so dry. Wrinkly. Ooh. Must have put too much alcohol on my hands. These are super cute. Wow. Look at those colors. Like soft pink and soft purple. And these, these are really cute. These are fun. I think if I go like this, you can see the color better. Yeah. And these, these are real cute. I like that. I like those. They're fun. And these. Ta da! I gotta, I gotta clean those up, but I'll wait till they, they uh, cure a little bit more. Those are cute. Okay, so I have some beads to hang this up. Now I'll show you this. Oh! All right, sorry, it took 10 minutes to dilly bob my, oh, it's so warm. Now, I put 16, yes, yes, 16 ounces of resin in this. That's a lot, but I, mean, I think I love it. I think I really do. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I the first thing I wanted to do was get on here and unmold it. And then when I saw how pretty it looked, 
I was like, ooh, I want to make some beads to, um, yeah, like have some beads to, oopsies, you can't see with my face there. But yeah, some beads on the thing that, that's holding it. Yay! I just found my beading stuff. I was looking for it all morning. Okay. This part's already lifted up a little bit. So let's see here. What do we have? So far. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so pretty and I don't think you can see that in person. It's so pretty in person. Let me see if I can get the light like a little less severe. Holy moly, that's pretty. All right, I got to try to. I mean, that's, that's a lot of resin to use, but wow. All right, I'm going to hold it here for one second while I try to bring the focus. There we go. Let me lift this up. Nope. It's just so pretty. It's, you see the colors in there? That's kind of the way it actually looks. Um, the colors are so, oh yeah, look at that. See how pretty that is? This is all just so pretty. Oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. I cannot wait to have this in my window. Now this is the back side of that little bead thing that I made. I kind of feel like I'm going to want to put a little, just a little circle of glitter or something on there. Maybe a little a holographic sticker. Oh man, there we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. Can you believe how pretty this is? I mean, seriously, this thing is gorgeous. Just this part, uh, these little blue things here, they're they're fine. They're fine. Um but I think this side, the way that Everything is kind of, oh my god, look at that. Wow, it's like explosion. Wow. I love this so much. I can't stop looking at it. Okay, Noel, I hope you guys like this. I'm going to hang it and then hopefully have a picture uh, for y'all. This is very sharp in some pieces over here. Oh, it's the only... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Carla. <laughs> and I am a squirrel. Uh, I didn't top this off to where it would be smooth. Because after I put in 16 ounces of resin, I thought, I'm not going to do another four. I'm not going to make this 20 ounces because it's going to be hanging in a window. It's not like I'm going to be serving food on it or carrying it around. Because it's very sharp. Very sharp. But if I was going to sell it, like if I knew I had somebody that wanted to buy it, then I would fill the whole thing. Because, yeah, oh, chaka chaka, that's sharp. Okay, so hopefully I will be able to show you a picture. Of, oh, my God. oh my God, I'm going to get off of here. I'm just going to sit and stare at this because this flat side is phenomenally beautiful. All right, guys. I love you. You know that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming back. 
Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for thinking about subscribing. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. You guys will do it when you're ready. And um, I hope today and tomorrow and the next day, when you are out and about in town, you could just try to make somebody's day. Like, you never know what people are going through. You don't know. You don't know. They could be smiling and crazy like me. And you just don't know. So um, let's make everybody in this world shine a little brighter and just be kind and be kind to yourselves. Love yourselves. Love yourself. <sighs> anyway, I'm, you know this spiel. I could talk for 300 hours right now because I am just over the moon excited by this and these little dudes. Couldn't be better to go with it. Oh my goodness. I'm just over the moon. Over the moon. Over the moon. Oh man. So anyway. I love you guys. And I will see you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, bye. They're in there. Look at they're in the universe. Ooh. I wish they were looking at each other though. Bye. <laughs> God.